Hey guys, let's keep this SC train a rolling. This is the SC5. This is their tank of a knife. And this isn't just uh, the SC model. This is the SC with all this extra stuff on here. This is the way I built it out. Uh, <laughs> this is just, this is the kind of knife that makes you feel like a man, right? Uh, or like a woman, uh, whatever, however you uh, want to identify. Now, this, this here, this is like, this is their, you know, blank hit the fan, uh, urban survival, super thick piece of steel blade. This thing is just massive. Now you can see here the way that I built this out. I have this with the, um, uh, I would say probably like flat dark earth color. I, I don't know if they call it that, but the flat dark earth. Uh, Molly webbing backer does come with the Kydex or polymer molded blade on here. Uh, and then just like the other, just like the SC4, this does have the uh, little can on here. I actually put the can of the other one in this one here. So it's the same one. I don't, it's just, it's just empty. Just so I don't drop everything out of the other ones and stuff. If you guys want to see like what I put in my, in my kit, I could do that too. But I mean, there's, there's so, it's so subjective. There's so much stuff. And I mean, I figure if you guys are watching this stuff, you already know what you're going to put in your kit. But anyways, this is just for like, you know, display purposes. Here's that Exotech I was uh, talking about with the uh, the SE4. Uh, this is the Nano Strike XL. I really like these guys. I haven't used this one. Uh, did I use this one and replace it? I don't remember. But this is a clean ferro rod. I bought some extra ferro rods. I'm just kind of like anal on, on camera and stuff. I like things to look nice. And I like this because it has the striker already and you get the sharp edge on here. You don't need to do anything to your knife. You don't need to take any of the coating on there and risk any rust or anything like that. This is all self-contained and uh, it's got some rubber washers to keep the moisture out. And I just put that in here just like that and I got my little uh, bungee just to hold it in place. Pretty cool. Now let's look at the knife itself. It's got this retention on here that's adjustable. Oh, now I know that was a little anticlimactic. It's not super, uh, super long. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, but it's thick. That's what she said. Uh, it's about a quarter inch of steel, guys. This thing is massive. Uh, this here, I would say this is like the, um, this is Essie's, Essie's challenge or Essie's uh, answer to the Becker BK2 companion blade. This is just a massive hunk piece of steel. You can, you know, pry open a car door with this probably and not break it. This is just, I mean, it feels, it's its heavy. It's heavy. You know, it's not, this isn't something you're going to go hiking with unless you're just, you know, burly like that. And if you are, God bless you. Uh, this here does have the aggressive pommel on the back, attitude glass breaker, attitude adjuster with the lanyard uh, loop. Is a flat grind on here. Does it? It is the uh, the 1095 high carbon steel, so this will rust on you like crazy. And does come with the micarta scales. This is the original. These are the original micarta scales that pretty much all the SE uh, blades come with. It does come with this uh, uh, little fire starter bow drill type of uh, hole here that you can use. Basically, you put that on top of your I don't know, you see, put it on top of your uh, stick there and you kind of bow drill it or whatever, and it gives you the option of holding it. That way you don't need a, another rock or anything to hold it in place. You can use your knife. So that's in there. I mean, how useful that is, I don't know, but it's it's included. What else can I say about this? Who is this for? I mean, y y urban combat, you know, if you're in the military, urban combat, this will work. I, I believe that this was originally... Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this was originally made for, uh, pilots that, uh, were, uh, in the case, in case that they were downed behind enemy lines, they can, you know, get out of their helicopters or whatever. And then if they needed to fight with this, they, they definitely could, they can break things, they can chop. This thing will baton like crazy. This will like explode wood, you know, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but this will get through pretty, uh, dense pieces of wood. It's not, you know, it's not your, your everyday, you know, slicer, slicing and dicing kind of knife. It's uh, you could use it as a camping knife if you only had to take one, but it's so 
thick and just massive that it's, I, I think it's kind of inconvenient for those types of chores. This is really going to be your, you know, I would say defensive, tactical, mm, batoning, maybe chopper, maybe, uh, but it's so thick. I feel like it would just, it wouldn't really be a good chopper. You're just, you're, 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 uh, I know it's just a lot, a lot of steel to throw around. What else here? Um, I, I, I enjoy this one. I think this is just super cool. This is just a super cool knife to have, even if you just have it for in the off event that you got to slice through some zombies or something, you know, this is just it there. Uh, let's see here. What do we compare this to? Uh, we don't have, well, let's see here. Let's go with the SE4. This is the SE4 that I did a little tabletop before. And this is more, I, I would say, in line with like your everyday. And you can kind of see now the SE4 on its own is a pretty thick blade. And this thing just dwarfs it. It makes it look like the, the SE5 makes the SE4 look like the SE3 next to the SE4. You know what I mean? Let's put, let's put them all together here so you can kind of see just how ridiculous ridiculous the SE5 is in comparison. That's, that's just hilarious to me. But it's cool. It's cool to have. Um, it's cool to own. I, I throw this, honestly, I throw this one in the back of my trunk. And I just have it. I just have it there. This is the this is the knife that I live in Southern California. So um, aside from you know violence here in this state, the the one thing most everyone is concerned about is a natural disaster due to earthquakes. So I I have this next to my uh, what I call my get home kit in my trunk. And in the event that you know I I'm out somewhere, there's a massive earthquake or something like that. And I, you know, just need a knife for something. If I need to get home, this is the knife that I have. This is the knife that's going to get me through this, that urban environment. Uh, that includes, you know, just uh, if I have to jimmy open car door because it's, you know, stuck for some reason, break through the glass or whatever it is. Say if I'm in the vehicle and something falls on it and I got to get out or something, you know, you know, I know this would be in the trunk, but uh we have laws here about carrying these types of things in your in your uh, in your cabin. But if you don't have those those laws in your state, there you go. Uh, but this is this is what I kind of carry the urban environment. I know it's kind of you know, a little far fetched, I guess, and maybe a little overkill. But that's what that's that's my thing. That's uh that's what I like it for. And the little kit that I carry in here is more uh, suited for like urban environment and stuff like that, like water tablets and uh, uh, what do you call uh, you know, sewing kit or whatnot for like wounds or whatever, things like that. Things that you would, you would necessarily not need in a bushcraft situation, just more of like an urban, uh, situation. So that's what this is here for. So yeah, that is the SC5. Massive man's knife or woman. If you guys like this stuff, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If there's an affiliate link somewhere in there, you can click on it, maybe get a discount. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, thanks a lot. See you in the next one.